Hello and welcome to the QL softbox setup. The first thing you need to do is unpack the items necessary to construct your softbox. You should have a speed ring, four rods, an outer diffuser, an inner diffuser, and an outer cover. Start by unfolding your outer diffuser with the silver side facing up. At this point you want to get the speed ring and put it directly in the center of the uh, unfolded outer cover. Now you can start inserting the rods into the speed ring. Um, actually one end of the rod goes into the speed ring. You want to kind of align the, that rod up with uh, one of the corner pockets on the outer cover. And just, you know, following along here, um, it's pretty basic. Just uh, find the other hole that aligns up with the other corner pocket and put the rod one end into the speed ring, the other end into the uh, the corner pocket of the uh, outer cover. Um, there's a little, sometimes a little bit extra effort that needs to be taken with some of these soft boxes because there's a lot of um, bending of these rods that needs to take place, but um, as you will see, uh, that's what ends up helping keep the uh, shape of the box is the tension uh, between the rod and the uh, the outer cover. So there's really no right or wrong way. Sometimes it's easier to put the uh, rod into the corner pocket first and then into the speed ring as opposed to the method uh, in the video here but um, either way you know whatever works works best now here we're just putting on the uh, inner diffuser um, it's an optional item some people use it some people don't it's not necessary for the uh, for the use of your light but it's just another another measure that uh, is included with the lighting kit in the softbox And then finally the outer cover, which just goes on over the top. Uh, it's velcroed onto the sides um, so that it stays in place. Here we have the installation of the light itself onto the top of the stand. It's pretty straightforward, just a simple uh, loosening and then tightening back up of that uh, thumb screw there at the base of the light and then uh, taking off the uh, front cover. Now go ahead and install the bulb. It's a two pin bulb. It goes in rather easily. Just make sure you don't touch the uh, the bulb itself. It could cause problems later on. And then just go ahead and grab the softbox by the tail end as shown here and ease it over the front and it should fit into a little channel there. And one simple turn and it clicks and there it is locked. You want to go ahead and close up um, the velcro on the back uh, if it is modeled with velcro on the back and make sure you open up these uh, little flaps on the side it helps ventilate the unit increasing the length of the bulb and of the unit itself and that's pretty much it. Thanks.